What's up, dudes? Dudettes, how you doing? Uh, hanging out here, Community Corner. Uh, we got Chris this week. Uh, Kale okay. is otherwise uh, indisposed. Uh, we also got uh, Cam, of course. Indisposed. The big W, CW. The big CW. W. The big W. I like that. I'm gonna start. Maybe I'll start rolling with that. Just like see you, see you, and be like, hey, is that the big W? I mean, like you know, is in terms of like putting up Ws. Yeah, dude, just like out here putting up Ws in the playtest, right? Yeah. Uh, actually, I like to go by my uh, my childhood name of Cameron. Take the L, Winston. Oh right, of course, of course, <laughs> of course. Yeah. Can't forget it. Can't. I just like it. Uncle Cam. Good old Uncle Cam. <laughs> That's just yeah. Sorry, you got to take the L sometimes. Thanks. <laughs> I always take the L. Um, so, uh, moving on. Uh, uh, welcome to Community Corner. Of course, uh, next week we will be talking more about the 42.3 stuff because it'll be live. But let's uh, cycle back a little bit. We made a mastery post um, earlier this week that detailed a lot of the changes that we are going to be making in the upcoming update. You know, we heard a lot of your feedback. Definitely understand uh, some of the... Um, issues that newer players may have been running into with the high rep costs uh, as well as card acquisition so we went ahead and definitely we went ahead and made some adjustments we took that feedback uh, and understood that it was important so from rank one to rank four you will see different rep values so those will be 25 75 150 and 250 thousand rep respectively uh, and at those ranks you could also pay 25 coins 75 coins 150 coins or 250 coins so those are drastically reduced from the last prices. And so Most had, definitely. And at rank five, it will be back to the 500,000 rep, but uh, this will allow you to get through those early ranks uh, a little bit quicker. And if you are you're g genuinely enjoying playing that hero and mastering it, you can follow that path as you yeah. wish. Um, and as you know, we understand players will have already purchased some of these ranks. So if you did purchase these ranks, we will be granting back a free mastery token for each of the ranks you purchased. So it'll allow you to reuse it on a different hero if you want, or use it on uh, that same hero if you so choose. Um, and as we spoke about the card acquisition earlier, uh, so what we're going to be doing is for newer players, might have had some trouble getting a lot of those newer cards, yep. trying out the decks that their friends may have sent them. So in direct response to some of that feedback, we are going to be removing that restriction. All cards will be available in chests, regardless of level, which will give players the ability to find the cards in their chests. I mean, I think it's important yep. also just to talk about, like, why would we have done such a thing? in the first place like what was the point of that and like i think the the important thing to understand is like you know we, we tried to make it so that it, as a new player experience like you know some of the more complicated and more nuanced cards that you know if you're a completely new player paragon would be gated behind some time played so that way like new players wouldn't be overwhelmed by you know whole new stuff and what we found is that actually you no know, players were very vocal and 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 you know about like wanting more options sooner and right. so we we wanted to make sure that you know, so essentially, just just so you guys understand, the motivation was to try to make it a better experience for new players, and it just didn't work out. So we're going to try to do this instead and see if this does right by the people who've been, you know, asking for more options early on. Definitely, and this is one of the things that I know we've been talking about even on Play with Community streams has been like, forty two just came out. You know, we just began this journey, right? And so this is one of those things where like you guys giving the feedback giving it to us, continuing to give that feedback, sticking with us, being patient, trying to give that objective feedback. We're going to iterate in time. And, uh, you know, along with the feedback, we're looking at the data and we want to make the game better. Like we're passionate about yep. this is Paragon going forward and this is where we want to see the game go. And uh, you guys are definitely part of that journey. So appreciate you guys sticking with us and we're listening. We're listening. Uh, I, I'm also, I'm listening too, specifically on top of the listening Chris <laughs> just mentioned. Uh, so I, I only listen on alternate Thursdays and Tuesdays between the hours of 2.45 and 2.48 p.m. Oh, got it. Okay. Following the summer solstice. Yes. Got it. Of course. Uh, only, only in the years of an eclipse. Naturally. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, another um, thing a lot of people in the community might enjoy is the updates to the deck builder. Yes. So, we're making a lot, we're making some tweaks to the deck builder, really make it uh, more intuitive for you to put those cards in and get those gems in and see that while you're doing it. And going from more of a, like a, like kind of a, a deck wizard to more of a tab based system. That'll make it a lot clearer for you to know, I'm putting these cards in, I'm putting these gems in, I know where I'm at with my deck right now. And allow you to maybe tinker and toy with it a little bit easier, so you can really try out those crazy builds. Yeah. Yeah, but, but also, if this one doesn't work, we'll make another one. Like, I mean, yep. we're, we're trying to, like, get it to the point where we think, like, oh, this is actually, you know, really good. And, it feels you know, good. It feels good. And I said, again, like, uh, the motivation, why make a wizard in the first place? Like, I'll help guide people through the process. You know, wizard-based approaches are for, like, the, you know, I don't really know how to do a thing, but I know what I want. Like, I want my sound. Like, how many times have you been, like, I want my voice chat to work? 
but I don't really understand. Right. All these, I just like take me through it. It's the same kind of thing to kind of like bring players along for the ride. And you know what we found was like, hey, you know, players actually sometimes you know your brain is like, put this card in. What was my gem? What's my hero? What am I? You know, and you're you're kind of more zipping around. So it's the response to that kind of feedback to make it better. Yeah, and it's crazy too. Like with 42, like so much of the work was you know relying upon the UI team to get like all the stuff done, like the new cards, the gems, like the UI, the HUD, like all the different stuff. And so like deck builder, we're going to continue you know iterating upon it in time and stuff. So I know I'm excited, super excited to actually when I'm, you know, making my deck to be able to see all the cards at the bottom and just be like, oh, cool. Yeah, There's I mean, Vader Mage in there. Is, I've, you know. you know, I've gotten, a, yeah, I've gotten a little bit lazy with my deck creation. I've, I've been like recycling. I'm not gonna lie, I've been recycling some. And, <laughs> and honestly, I've been punished for it because like I had this, I had this super, like I talked about that super glass cannony mid deck, and I played like the other day, and I just got like I walked over. I think I walked over, and I was just like, yeah, I just like, ugh, I just got destroyed. It was, no, it was fantastic. But it was a thing where I learned my lesson. I was like, all right, I'm gonna go in, actually iterate upon, it. and now having like a, an improved tool to do that. Definitely, definitely exciting. Yeah, like just having different options when you're when you're deck building and just going like, I'm going to make this deck, and then be like, and I'm always going to play this deck. It's just that you, that gets punished. Yep, you know, yep. you, you can't. You have to be more flexible. But tweaking, updating, important stuff definitely is the you know that kind of who's playing who meta shifts. But uh, speaking of uh, who's playing who, we'll have to find out who plays who after 42-3. So we have some changes Ooh. coming in. Mm -hmm. uh, so first off, Drongo. Drongo. <laughs> We'll touch back on him, but I just wanted to say that I have it. I have it in my notes as exclamation point. Drongo. 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 Uh, so announced yesterday. Yeah, announced yesterday. So it's fantastic. You go check out that video. Yeah, I'm excited. Spicy. Are you guys excited? Because I'm, I'm excited. Yeah. You I'm, guys excited? I'm definitely excited, dude. Mooney's permanently excited. I'm, per I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm never not excited. That's part of my curse. It's a blessing and a curse. Oh, you know, gotcha. It's, that's a good thing. It's, yeah, something I have to work. I like with. it. Yeah. That's good. Um, so we will be toning down. We kind of talked about this. Wukong, Iggy, Kalari, and Kwong. Yep. Um, and there will be some improvements uh, to uh, some improvements, some changes uh, to Gideon, Wraith, and Zinx. So uh, you can definitely look for those changes coming. They'll all be detailed in our 42-3 notes. But you know, Cam kind of talked about how we will be we'll be watching over time and definitely looking at you know the data we see from live play and iterating upon that. Um, you know, just at, over the course of time, because now we have that much better foundation to work from with yeah. 42, so it allows us a lot more of those knobs and dials that we can really tweak and you know get heroes to a place where they feel better and better. And of course, it's an iterative process, so it takes takes time. Yeah, For, and 42 three represent will represent our first opportunity to like be like, all right, you know, let's take a look at what we saw from 42 and right. actually push something in. So for sure. Definitely. Um, and there's a large chunk of cards being rebalanced. I could talk about three shortly, but changes to over 25 plus cards. I was like counted myself. I was like, "That's these look these look beefy." But uh, that's uh, as many as I am ages. That's been true. Alive. Years, that even make sense. Years, years. Chris's existence. Years. Yeah. Since ninety one. Not ages. No, Since ninety one. Hashtag. I thought that, I thought there were more than fourteen cards. Oh, that's. I'm leaving, guys. Uh, uh, clocking out. <laughs> so. <laughs> Taking off his epic game shirt. So, uh, well, yeah, beard growth for a fourteen-year-old is very. Yeah, yeah I actually shaved dude. for this stream. You did? Did you? Excellent. This is five. This is his, um. Did you shave the beard on? <laughs> this is like my five-year shadow. Yeah, That's five-year shadow. <laughs> Excellent. So, uh, yeah, so a large chunk of cards being rebalanced. Uh, some, some that are going to be made slightly less effective now. Uh, Godmother Vigilant, uh, Flame of Zekin. Mm -hmm. And uh, Shadow Dancer. Hey. So we know a lot. Yeah, we know a lot of you have been uh, discussing some of these cards. You know, definitely dig into those patch notes when they come in and see the values changing. Because now more than ever, I feel like, and this is something I personally feel when these patch notes come out, that I do want to be a little bit more analytic. Uh, analytical is that mm -hmm. that's right. analytical when I like l read through them because I want to know like what stats are changing because that might like one stat changing on a card might change like how I idealize that deck. Yeah. And we're and we're like and, and guys, just just so we're clear, like. If we miss something in the patch notes, like it's not intentional. Like, 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 please, you know, call it out. We'll get it in there as mm -hmm. soon as we can. Like, we're just trying to be as transparent as we possibly can with the notes and what we change. And, and now that we actually have a baseline, the intention is to get all these 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 notes exhaustively documented as best we can. And and if it is something where you you bring it up to us and it ends up being a bug, then it's something we can solve for the next release, and that's yeah. always super helpful as well. You know, we kind of noted that some of those card bugs would be fixed in this forty two three update, so we can look to see some of those coming in, mm -hmm. and uh, just generally going on. In the future if you do find bugs any issues with cards because you have a lot of cards a lot of effects a lot of things happening uh definitely hit up our bug reporting forums let us know hit us up on reddit you know uh, we have that bug mega thread that gets started every week so yep. it's very helpful 
Um, but yeah, yeah, you can check out all these changes and more in the 42.3 notes. Those are those are going to be good. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, and I think even one of the things that, Cam, I think you and I even talked about it in the dead playtest the other day is like, even just real, back, real quick back to the cards thing is like cards like Growth Totem, you know, cards that empower you over time, like that visual indicator, because I think we even talked mm -hmm. about like those are things that we could improve on. So we're going to have some more cool stuff coming in time. That Yeah, that you know, to help. toggle states. I really want toggle states for the cards. Like, you know, like I've turned this on, I've turned this off. Like right. that's something we're working on. Yep. Oh. So now I had a quick question. Mm -hmm. Drongo, real quick. Drongo. Real quick. Drongo. So for me, so I typically. Hot right now. Oh, so hot. So hot right now. I typically main mid, but I also love playing carries. We all know that Mr. Ed Diaz loves playing Sparrow. So it seems like Ed and I can align a lot of times on like those carries that like to just shoot things, like, you know, more like a Murdoch or a Twin Blast who's like, I'm the shoot fast guy, you know, or Sparrow, you know, who shoots a bunch of arrows at a ton of people and rains them down on people. So with Drongo, I was just curious personally, like goal and like intention of him, like he's the newest range carry coming to Paragon. Like what, mm -hmm. what was the intention of goal bringing him into the game? I mean, well, uh, he... He's like a kind of like a Mad Max looking guy, right? Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is. He is he, he's more of like I mean, uh, I think with him, it's like he he you know when we looked at the concepts for him, like there was a lot of like you know, what could we do with a character that looks like this and like making him a good shooting character. But uh, I think if you want the full skinny on what oh, the design skinny. ideas behind Drongo were and how he should be played and all that kind of stuff and insight, along with uh, some commentary from the great artists who got a chance to work on him, you should check in on Monday when Ooh. we do the dev stream. What's dev stream? We're going to do dev stream Monday. We are Ooh. doing a dev stream. I and, know that because I, I will be there. I will also be there. And then you can ask I will not question. be there, but... You can go on Twitch will and be ask a question. Because he's not there. So. Yeah, you can go on Twitch <laughs> and you can remember. ask a question. But yeah, well, we can talk about it after Community Corner. Totally. That's right. Yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, the... Uh, the other thing that I found very interesting about Drongo whoa, was his uh, uh, boomerang. We actually have a question from yes. uh, mm -hmm. Waved Out Vic, and Waved he, Vic. he, had, yeah, he, he asked, yep. is, is Drongo's boomerang a skill shot or a lock-on? It's a lock-on to everyone on the opposite team that homes no matter where you are, and it does a thousand damage. That's insane. It's insane. Wow, right? guys. No, wow, guys. True. You heard it here first. I lied to you. Uh, so <laughs> I just like trolling Kale when he's not here. Uh, <laughs> the um, It's actually, the way it works is a super cool mechanic, and we'll, we'll demonstrate this in the live stream, yep. hopefully on Monday. But, like, you throw it, and it goes kind of where your boomerang is, but then you can, like, change your, your vision. Kind of like, you can, like, aim it here and then snap your camera, and it will move to where you snapped it to. I actually didn't even know that. It's returning to you, right? Yeah. I actually didn't so even know so that. it kind of makes, like, a cool awesome. little arc. It, it's kind of like... It kind of feels like a boomerang. Like it, it, it's just it's one of the things that takes a few times of using it to get used to it. But once you get used to it, it feels really cool. Like it. it yeah, I've never know. mastered a boomerang in real life, so that's. You've never I don't mastered even think a boomerang. I've thrown a boomerang, I've like, I've thrown a boomerang and then it just kind of like hits the ground. I mean, I well, a boomerang mad. mastery was uh, between recess and uh, you know my my English class. So wow, boomerang mastery. That is impressive, dude. Yeah. You're I mean, just... master, mastering boomerangs is something. See, that I'm I not even in like, for, high for... school yet, so I don't even know what a boomerang <laughs> right, is. Right. Like, yeah. I'm still 14 years old. Yeah, so but eventually it's going to come up. Yeah, yeah, your it'll come up, but you make sure you take it. Make sure you yeah. take boomerang mastery. Boomerang I'm still mastery. At, what about nap time? I don't know. I'm still back at nap time. So I, <laughs> I mean, I boomerang mastery is, is, is a skill that served me well on my uh, my hunting. Right, of course. Yeah, when, I, when I hunt for, for, for wild game. <laughs> All right, okay. No? Uh, With your socks on, right? I don't want to get bit by mosquitoes and malaria. Oh, that's exciting. That's All right, so moving moving on, uh, uh, boomerang mastery aside, uh, yeah, no, I think it'll be very interesting ability for a lot of people to like yes. try and just try and because I'm sure we'll f we'll see some people figure out some unique ways to use it and some unique situations to use it in because mm -hmm. it's it is one of those abilities that even like so for example like Zinx's ricochet is like a really interesting ability that kind of came out where it's like that's bouncing off you know multiple targets. You, when are you going to use it? You can use it in a team fight. You're going to try and solo con stun the carry. Mm -hmm. I so. mean, it's also, it's like, it's a good farming tool for him. Like, you know, if he's in a lane where he's got a lot of pressure, you can still kind of grab last hits from right. like, from like downtown. See that. Uh, he's also got like, you know, it, it's a good finishing tool. Like someone's running away, whatever. That's, but that's where I've used it. Yeah. It's also kind of cool as an engage tool because it does damage on the way out and the way back. So you can like run at a fool and like throw it at them. And then like, you know, it's going to come back, yeah. but they can't like see it it's behind them. So right. And they're like, a fool. And they're so, a fool. All, right. Everyone you're fighting is going to be right. <laughs> Like that's, that's how it is, right? Like, you're, 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 you're on a conquest to, to, to kill Until fools. you become the fool. Yeah, yeah. I've become the fool on many a time. I yeah, but, but it's not you, right? Remember, that, that's how mobile was work, right? When, when you lose, it's your team's fault. When you win, it's because you're such a baller. <laughs> That's how it, that's how it goes, right? I mean, right, guys. That's, that, no, it's not how it works. That's uh, how it works. Wait, wait it doesn't work that way. 
So it's, it's because you drafted wrong, Mooney. Yeah, it's, it's true. not my it's true. fault. Oh man, it's because uh, you drafted wrong. No, and actually, so speaking of drafting, I had seen you know kind of an uptick. People talking about this uh, with dodging uh, occurring in a lot of our, in some of our lobbies. Yeah. And uh, you know, definitely get it's frustrating. Definitely get that there's a lot of uh, you know misunderstandings like some people be like oh you know i gotta go do a thing i gotta dodge certain situations and like we understand like there may be situations where we have to do that but our goal will always be to address those serial offenders the people who are actually out there either maliciously doing it or repeatedly doing it and just need either a reminder or to be informed that this is not okay behavior to be doing on such a high level repeatedly uh similar to the way our afk system works like serial offenders are going to be the people we hone in on but um an area we definitely have an eye on and something we'll be we'll continue um making changes or adjustments to as as need be so yeah the, the thing to remember guys just like if you're watching this video and like you know you are an engaged member of the paragon community like don't draft dodge if you don't like what somebody picks like that's super childish like that's like oh i wanted kalari or i wanted twin blast and like or i want to be the carry like you guys are a team like when when the five of you play together if you just try to like feel like okay i'm going to like figure out how to play this like you're going to have a way better time than if you just go oh we're definitely going to lose because i'm seeing something i haven't seen before exactly no you, yep. there's and, and, and even you know 42 has been out for a couple of weeks now but even then like it's still i've still see stuff that i haven't seen before i mean a game the other day with a murdoch jungle just rolling through and i like we didn't punish him in the early game in the jungle enough and he just rolled he just became he just a monster up. and then and then it was just like the guy was like well i've seen it all in chat and i was like i'm sure you have not you have not yeah. seen it all and you may not see it all ever did but, he see offline chimera yet because exactly. that is yeah no lit. i did yeah, yeah. Like, i know sundown's been and he's been rolling that a lot. I was I was playing uh, I was playing a um, a safe lane um, uh, Grim, and I was doing the the goofy like I'm gonna do uh, like the like super like all intelligence the ult 15 yeah. seconds one yeah you just I'm gonna ult all the time yeah. and I, I, so I got the stuff like increased all my mana so I could spam it and I was just like I'm just gonna poke with this so I got level five and I'm like I'm gonna poke this guy out of lane but you don't you can't poke Chimera out of lane he just sits there hitting creeps and he doesn't care about you yeah like and then you go like but but I would hate for you know, I get to have that experience because when I'm in the play test, I just go, I'm going to play Chimera offlane or I'm going to, or someone on, on my, my design team goes, I'm going to try Chimera offlane. And we're trying to just explore and experiment with the game. So we get to see a lot of these, these weird things that are a lot of fun that really showcase the depth and interest of the card system and how, how versatile the game can right. be. And people just never have the opportunity to, to do that because they're in a pub game. And as soon as they go, I want to try this thing. Like, I saw a video of this one guy was like, I didn't do him support Chimera. And I was like, you know what? I don't know if that's going to work. But, like, he made a whole video about yeah, it. It had been it, it, it props it worked to you for, for like, trying, making yeah. the effort, investigating. Like, that's that's a lot of what you have the opportunity to do. There's a huge difference <laughs> between the I'm salty, I didn't get carry, so here's my offlane twin blast. Whoops, I went 0-9 you know guy situation where, where where's the dude who's just like hey i like i even got no game there there was like hey are you, gonna, are you gonna play like something in this lane i was just like actually i got like a really interesting feng mao deck i want to try out this game if yeah. that's cool and i could talk through with the team everybody's like cool with it and even though we had like a more like kind of a uh, we relied on tanks that game the team was like like rallied around it and we actually had a really good game so it was just it was one of those situations where i was kind of taken out on a limb like hey i'm gonna be playing more of a carry oriented feng mao not gonna have a tank in the off lane mm -hmm. and that's not super crazy or anything but it's it's a step in that Direction. At some well, point, yeah. somebody had to be the first person to have, uh, you know, the courage to be like, I'm going to try this thing that the game developers didn't intend. Like, you know, uh, somebody had to be the first person. I think it was actually Blood Mortius, but somebody had to be the first person to be like, I'm going to run Seraph in the jungle. Like, somebody had to do that because we, when we put her in the game, she wasn't a juggler, right? Yeah. But like, so, so people have to have the courage to try that, and it's it's hard to have the courage to pick the hero you want to play in the way you want to play it in, in the face of a bunch of people going like, oh, there's only like, if you're not Wukong off lane, I'm just going to dot draft dodge. Right, yeah. like, well, that's what I was going to say. There's even some really effective things going on right now. Like Narbass jungle would have never thought that was a thing, but that's like a thing. And people are like coming out of the jungle and using song of my people. And just, you're like, you're obliterated. You're gone. Yeah. And like even Richter jungle is coming back as a thing. Like meds gave me a deck the other day and I was running it yesterday and was like five Oh within the first like 15 minutes of the game. And it was just awesome. Super what fun to try out these really cool, that's, cool builds and, and, and I think that's that's definitely gonna just something that's gonna continue. And after we have these balance passes, I think a lot of people will see that maybe you have to actually go into your decks, make some adjustments. Like, oh, go yeah, check out that new like if you have uh, uh, some some somebody on YouTube you're watching for like the latest tutorials, like go watch that updated tutorial. Go check out that updated Reddit post, people discussing mm -hmm. new builds and theory craft. Like, get out there and like learn some stuff, try some stuff, like get that courage. But most importantly, 
treat your teammates like they were actual human beings and not like just people that are on that are there to give you yep. the w and, and, like, and i can say this again like the whole treat people how you want to be treated but like the whole thing where you want to play a, a hero a certain way in a certain style be understanding of other people who may want to do a similar thing and be the positive force like yeah. be that lighthouse okay awesome i just wanted to say lighthouse so uh we got one more question here i think from uh was it drago flames yeah drago flames drago mm -hmm. flames and so he asked why is kwong receiving a nerf so i can i can say this is a uh, i can see this as a valid question a lot of people have been discussing wukong iggy and kalari very yep. specifically as being heroes that they felt were very, oh, like overtuned or very strong but kwong maybe not seen as much buzz about if you want to touch on that cam uh so kwong himself like just is such a terror right now even after the nerf he's still a terror like he's not a huge nerf but like his ability to be tanky what we were finding is like so like i saw not there's a lot of like you know what is the point of pestilence cards like pestilence cards are way cheaper or not pestilence cards excuse me uh parasite cards uh, what are they curse cards now? yeah what is the point of curse cards like they're just like way cheaper than they're supposed to be so one of the things you can do is kwong right now which you'll still be able to do after the nerf but it's like uh you you pick up for four i believe it's four vitality pips and one uh offense pip so that's like what is that like five thousand gold in the game it's like it's like within the first you know four or five minutes of the game you get a mother tree and a spry can and at that point all of his life steal in the jungle is being increased and the Sprykins being increased, and you're walking around, and you could start man fighting people in the in the jungle, and that R and B armor, on top of that, oh, yeah. Yeah. was getting to the point where no it was joke. like, because you, you'd you'd walk up to people and be like, "Hi, what's up, like fellow Paragon citizen? I'm level four with 33 hit points regen per second," and they're like, "I am too. I'm level four, except oh my god, what happened? Yeah, like how do yeah. you like out DPS that right. at that stage of the game? Definitely be oppressive and stuff. Yeah. And then so what happened is like we were we were noticing like you know in, in balance concerns like with the right kinds of builds like early game Kwongs could just like take over games and just like because it, it doesn't matter if you know it's not as effective 20 minutes into the game when everyone's like on your teams like three or four levels higher yeah. because you've just been walking around the map just collecting kills and just having that one or two level advantage. And, and, and so essentially Kwong's ability to swing a team fight um, uh, with RMB and just, or with, with, his, uh, with his armor and lightning damage is yep. just like, it was too high. I just And just to fully underscore it, like it was actually to the point where I actually beat Ed once with him. Let's Which is here. like that's that's a sign. Like yeah. you don't you don't want that. Yeah, dude. Like I shouldn't be winning. Is that games. the same time you also beat me? Yeah, it was. Oh, you were man. in that game. Shout out to Cam Winston beating up on the uh, half the taking uh, community team. <laughs> yeah, yeah, because I'm such a good player. There you go. That's Got what him. it is. That's it. You heard it here first, folks. <laughs> yeah, I'm real good. No, but all, all kidding aside, he like was landing the pins. Uh, all, all kidding aside, just it was just too much of a swing. Like yep. we needed him to because he's already like that. The life steal plus the jungle and then the mother tree stuff just did. It all works together. Right. And then you pick up, I forget the name of the card, uh, the 15%, the all of your healing effects, 15% more. That also works as Sprite Can. Yeah, yeah, by yeah, the Waters. Yeah. That also works as Sprite Can. Also works yeah, with Mother you, Tree. <laughs> so you're like, now I have 30% more health. Yeah, so so you like you could be like, like level day. 8, <laughs> and you're walking around with, like, you know, a crap ton of, of health, and you're like 40 or 50 like healing a second and then you're in the jungle and it's like 60 and then you got this huge armor swing yeah and then you're just you're just man fighting people and there's like what can we do against this guy De so. yeah, and definitely I, I think that that's those are one of those options and i think once you know 42 three drops and people see the heroes after they've had their adjustments maybe discovering some new types of builds like if, maybe if the regen running some of the regen stuff doesn't work maybe you uh like pivot and try like more of an aggro build so mm -hmm. definitely get out there and try those totally. options on on you know, I mean, yeah, because remember, like, update. real carries are always going to be to region build, because late in the game, region doesn't scale and carries do. So, like, they're right. going to just show up and, like, just be like, pow, 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 I'm Murdoch, goodbye. You know, <laughs> but, like, but it, but but there's a whole game. The, the thing to realize is, like, you know, for some of these nerfs and some of these, like, what do these cards exist? There's a whole game before, you know, the 20, 25 minute mark where it's, like, there's 15, 20 minutes to, like, set the tone of the game and what those last 10 minutes of the game are going to be like. Right. Yep. Definitely. So, um, one more thing to touch on before we uh, wrap up uh, this week's Community Corner. Uh, Chris, my friend, will actually be leaving us on Wednesday next week to head to Seattle. Yeah. Chris, so why is that? West. Why is that, PAX Chris? West. Yep. PAX West. Anybody going? 
talk to me. So we'll be at PAX West. Uh, we're going to have a Fortnite booth there. Uh, it's going to be awesome. So it'll be a nice, big, giant, purple thing. Um, we're going to have cool llama pinatas there. So if you want to have some fun with llama pinatas and maybe get some cool things, I would come check it out. Um, but we're going to be doing a meetup uh, for Paragon stuff as yep. well. Um, we're going to be doing one on the floor and at a place called Gameworks. So we'll have a blog that uh, I will be putting out on Monday that will be detailing uh, what's going to be going on and where you can get in touch with us as far as like if you're like, hey, what are the details of this thing and yep, where can I meet you guys up and all that cool stuff. So I'm super excited, uh, super excited to get to hang out with you guys. Um, we'll also have Tori or Misty Misty from the Fortnite team and Stacy, also known as Flack. So she's been here uh, for a long time doing some awesome stuff. So I'm super excited. Yeah, it should be, be should be good. You know, get out there, hang out with the crew, meet, maybe meet some other fellow Paragoons. Paragooners? Make, is, that, grow, is that what we call ourselves? Grow that. I mean, like, <laughs> I'm a Paragoon. I'm self-identified yeah, as a but, Paragoon. Yeah, but, like, we were goons to start. That's like, true. Like, what if you weren't a goon? I don't know. I'm just then 14 maybe, years old, so that's that's all I got. I, yeah, I so, have no so other. So goon is, is a word. It means something. Okay, I, I'll tell you when you're older. Uh, he'll tell he'll tell him when he's older in like five minutes. Uh, Uncle CW, tell me. So, so yep, of course, if you're Pax, hang out with Chris, hang out with some other uh, Paragon fans, Fortnite yep. fans. Like you just come, yeah, you know, maybe share some strategies, and maybe you can pick up a few uh, like epic tags and meet some friends online. Yeah, we will we will have some of the coveted Paragon hats. I will be walking around with some of those. So. I will be the swag lord uh -oh. walking around uh -oh. Paxwest. So you will be able to identify him yeah, we'll because be... he's going to be wearing a turtleneck. Yes. Yeah, I was like, sp speaking of turtleneck, didn't didn't we say something? Cam, didn't you say something about him wearing a turtleneck? I just said if, if you wanted to see him corner? wearing a turtleneck, leave it in the comments. Did they leave it in the comments? Did they I, want you to see a turtleneck? I, I, I think I, I did not see it in the comments myself. I did maybe, not see an over... I may have seen Chris's comment and then immediately just been like, I'm not doing it now that Chris has requested it. But if there is an overwhelming <laughs> outcry for next week, uh, I will very much consider wearing a turtleneck. So do it. There's that. So on that note, uh, thanks, <laughs> thanks guys for uh, coming by. Community Corner, as always, uh, gonna be back here next week um, with Kale in Chris's place because Chris will be out there hanging out with you guys potentially. Uh, thanks for coming this week. Uh, hope you enjoy 42.3, and we will see you next time. Take care, thanks so guys. much, guys.